Hey everyone, welcome to Forked. In this video, we're going to build our very own version of the ls command. You might know ls as that simple yet powerful Unix command that lists files and directories, showing details like size, modified time, and file types. It's something every developer uses daily. But have you ever wondered how it actually works behind the scenes? By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how. We'll explore how to read directory contents using the Durant library, retrieve file metadata with stat and format timestamps. You'll also learn how to detect whether a file is a regular file, directory, or a symbolic link, just like the real LS does. And the best part? It's simpler than it sounds. So grab your terminal and let's get forked. All right. Let's talk about the two important headers, durant.h and stat.h. We use durant.h to read the contents of a directory and stat.h to get details about each file like its size, modified time, and type. These two are essential for mimicking how the ls command works. Here's our main function. Inside it, we declare a dir pointer to open the directory stream and a struct dirent pointer to loop through its entries. We also use file stat to store file information, time string to hold the formatted modification time, and total files to count how many items we process. We open the current directory using open dir. If it fails, we print an error and exit. This is like how the real ls would behave if it couldn't read a directory. Let's print our table headers. File name, size, modified time, and type. We now loop through all entries in the directory using read dir. It returns a pointer to a struct durant for each file or folder. We skip the special entries for current directory and parent directory, just like ls would. Here we call stat to fetch metadata about the file or directory. If it succeeds, we move on to extract and print details. We format the last modified time using strf time. It converts the modification time into a readable format. We print the file name, file size and bytes, and the formatted modification time. Minus 15s aligns the text to the left for clean formatting. Next, we check the file type using macros. These check whether the file is a directory, a regular file, or a symbolic link, and print the result. Each time we process a file, we increment the total files counter. After the loop, we print the total number of files processed, giving the user a final summary. Finally, we close the directory stream using close dir and return zero to end the program successfully. And that's it. You've just built your own mini version of the ls command in C. Try running it in different directories or even expanding it with flags or color output. If you found this helpful, leave a like and subscribe for more content.